Welcome to Lily's Viking Adventure. Today we delve into the life and mysterious death of one of the most infamous Viking kings, Eric Bloodaxe. Eric Bloodaxe was born as the son of King Harold Fairhair, Norway's first king. According to Heimskringla and the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, Eric was known for his fierce personality and ambition from an early age. He sought to assert dominance over his brothers and claim his father's throne. Eric's rise to power was marked by ruthless tactics, including the betrayal and killing of his brothers to secure his rule. Heimskringla and other Norse sagas detail these violent actions which cemented his fearsome reputation. However, his rule in Norway was short-lived as he was eventually overthrown by his younger brother, Hakon the Good, forcing him to flee. Eric Bloodaxe, as he came to be known, was a figure of both fear and fascination in the annals of Viking history. Born into a time of great turmoil and constant power struggles, Eric was the son of Harald Fairhair, the first king of Norway. Harald's ambition to unify Norway under a single crown set the stage for a series of brutal conflicts among his sons, each vying for control over the fragmented kingdom. From a young age, Eric exhibited a fierce and unyielding nature. His early years were marked by a series of raids and battles that showcased his prowess as a warrior. These exploits earned him the moniker Blood Axe, a testament to his ferocity in combat. The sagas recount numerous instances where Eric's tactical brilliance and sheer brutality left a lasting impression on both his allies and enemies. As he grew older, Eric's ambitions expanded beyond mere battlefield glory. He sought to consolidate his power and establish himself as the undisputed ruler of Norway. This ambition, however, came at a great cost. The path to the throne was fraught with treachery and bloodshed. Eric's most infamous act was the betrayal and murder of his own brothers. In a bid to eliminate any potential rivals, Eric orchestrated a series of assassinations that left a trail of blood and sorrow in their wake. The Heimskringla, a collection of Norse sagas, provides a detailed account of these events. According to the sagas, Eric's actions were driven by a ruthless determination to secure his position. The betrayal of his brothers was not merely an act of cruelty, but a calculated move to eliminate any threats to his rule. This ruthless approach earned him a fearsome reputation, one that would be remembered for generations. Despite his efforts, Eric's reign in Norway was short-lived. His rule was characterized by constant strife and rebellion. The very tactics that had secured his rise to power also sowed the seeds of his downfall. Discontent among the nobility and the common folk grew, and Eric found himself increasingly isolated. His younger brother, Harkon the Good, who had been raised in the court of King Athelstan of England, emerged as a formidable challenger. Harkon's return to Norway marked the beginning of the end for Eric's reign. Unlike Eric, Harkon was known for his diplomatic skills and his ability to garner support from various factions within the kingdom. He presented himself as a unifying figure, promising peace and stability in contrast to Eric's reign of terror. The support for Harkon grew rapidly and soon a full-scale rebellion was underway. The decisive battle between the brothers took place in the rugged landscapes of Norway. Despite his formidable skills as a warrior, Eric found himself outnumbered and outmaneuvered. Harkon's forces, bolstered by widespread support, overwhelmed Eric's loyalists. In the end, Eric was forced to flee, leaving behind a kingdom in turmoil. Eric's flight marked the end of his rule in Norway, but his story did not end there. He sought refuge in the British Isles, where he continued to carve out a legacy as a Viking chieftain. His exploits in England and Scotland added new chapters to his storied life, further cementing his place in Viking lore. In the end, Eric Bloodaxe's rise to power and subsequent fall serve as a stark reminder of the brutal and often fleeting nature of power in the Viking Age. His story, filled with ambition, betrayal and relentless pursuit of dominance, continues to captivate and intrigue historians and enthusiasts alike. Eric then shifted his focus to Northumbria, where he adapted his rule among the Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings. 
His reign was marked by conflicts with local leaders and neighboring kingdoms, especially with the English kings. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle and other early medieval records provide insight into these turbulent times. The mystery surrounding Eric's death is a topic of much speculation. Theories suggest that his killing could have been orchestrated by rivals in Northumbria, his brother Harkon, or even the English. Historical sources are unclear, leaving his death shrouded in intrigue. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle offers some insight into his fall from power, but many questions remain unanswered. Eric Bloodaxe, a name that strikes fear and awe, was a formidable Viking warrior and king. His life was filled with battles, conquests, and a relentless pursuit of power. Born as the son of Harold Fairhair, the first king of Norway, Eric was destined for greatness. His nickname, Bloodaxe, was earned through his ferocious and ruthless nature in battle. He was a man who lived by the sword and ultimately died by it. Eric's journey to power was not an easy one. He had to fight his own brothers to claim the throne of Norway. His reign was marked by constant warfare and bloodshed. Despite his efforts, he was eventually driven out of Norway by his brother Harkon, who was supported by the powerful chieftains of the land. Eric then turned his attention to the British Isles, where he sought to carve out a new kingdom for himself. In Northumbria, Eric found a land ripe for conquest. The region was plagued by internal strife and weak leadership, making it an easy target for a warrior of Eric's caliber. He quickly established himself as the King of Northumbria, ruling with an iron fist. However, his reign was short-lived. The exact circumstances of his death remain a mystery, but it is widely believed that he was betrayed by those closest to him. One theory suggests that Eric was killed by his own men, who were bribed by the English. Another theory posits that his brother Harkon orchestrated his assassination to eliminate a rival. There are also those who believe that Eric's death was the result of a conspiracy involving the Northumbrian nobility, who saw him as a threat to their power. The truth may never be known, but what is certain is that Eric's death marked the end of an era. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, a key historical source, provides some insight into Eric's fall from power. According to the Chronicle, Eric was betrayed by his own men and killed in battle. However, the details are vague and the account leaves many questions unanswered. Was Eric's death the result of a carefully planned conspiracy or was it simply the outcome of a chaotic and brutal struggle for power? Eric's legacy is one of both admiration and fear. He was a warrior king who lived by the sword and died by it. His life and death are a testament to the brutal and unforgiving nature of the Viking Age. Despite the mystery surrounding his demise, Eric Bloodaxe remains a legendary figure in history, a symbol of the relentless pursuit of power and the inevitable consequences that come with it. As we delve deeper into the life and death of Eric Bloodaxe, we are reminded of the complexities of history. The past is often shrouded in mystery and the truth can be elusive. Yet it is through the exploration of these mysteries that we gain a deeper understanding of the people and events that have shaped our world. Eric Bloodaxe's story is a powerful reminder of the enduring legacy of the Viking Age and the indomitable spirit of those who lived through it. Eric Bloodaxe's legacy as a legendary Viking figure is complex. He is remembered in Viking folklore as both a heroic and ruthless figure. Norse poetry and sagas, as well as popular culture, continue to portray him as a symbol of Viking resilience and brutality. Thank you for watching Lily's Viking Adventure. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the fascinating world of the Vikings, where we explored their rich history, culture and legendary tales, from the mighty long ships that sailed across treacherous seas to the bustling village life that thrived in the harsh Nordic landscapes. The Vikings have left an indelible mark on history. Their stories of bravery, exploration and conquest continue to captivate us to this day. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into Viking history and legends. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new episodes that delve into the lives of these incredible Norsemen and women. We'll uncover the mysteries of their gods, the intricacies of their social structures, and the epic sagas that have been passed down through generations. Each episode is meticulously researched to bring you the most accurate and engaging content possible. Like the video and share your thoughts on Eric Bloodhound in the comments. Eric Bloodaxe, one of the most notorious Viking kings, has a story shrouded in both legend and historical fact. Was he a ruthless ruler who met a violent end, or was his death the result of political intrigue? 
Your insights and theories are invaluable to us and we love hearing different perspectives on these historical figures. Engaging with our community helps us create a richer, more interactive experience for everyone. Which theory about his death do you find most intriguing? Some historians believe that Eric Bloodaxe was betrayed by his own allies, while others think he fell in battle against rival factions. There are even theories suggesting that his death was orchestrated by the English monarchy to weaken Viking influence. Each theory offers a unique glimpse into the complex world of Viking politics and warfare. We encourage you to dive into the available literature and share your findings with us. Check the full description for links to more resources and our Etsy store with Viking and Gothic inspired items. Our store features a curated selection of unique pieces inspired by Norse mythology. Whether you're a history buff, a fan of Viking culture, or simply looking for a unique gift, our store has something for everyone. Additionally, we've included links to scholarly articles, books, and documentaries that provide deeper insights into the Viking era. These resources are perfect for anyone looking to expand their knowledge and understanding of this fascinating period in history. Thank you for being a part of our community and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Skull.